Yes, there you go. I got it. Hi guys, my name is Valeria and today I'm going to be doing my top 20 favorite books. Now the reason I went with 20 is because picking 5 is just way too hard for me and 20 just felt like a much more realistic number. And the reason I decided to even do this video was because I believe this was a question back in the Would You Rather book tag if you could read your top 20 favorite books or something like that or just a different genre. I don't remember the question to be honest, I filmed it a while back. And I decided I'm actually going to go ahead and answer which ones are. And I'm cheating in a way because I'm not picking 20 books but rather series are included. So some of these are standalones actually. And my disclaimer for these is if you disagree, I'm sorry, but these are my personal opinions. And I also want to say that these books, favorites, things is not in a particular order. So don't think because I'm starting with one series that's my favorite one. I just go ahead and decided I'm going to go ahead and do them at random. Now some of these books I don't own so there won't be a picture of that. And I will be doing honorable mentions because it is still too hard to even lower myself to top 20. I had to go ahead and go with 25. And I'm going to only save the titles because otherwise this would be a really long video. So the bells that you'll hear, just like that one, are my cats are roaming around. I couldn't really hold them in the kitchen any longer. So they might be joining us today. The first book is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. And I do mean the whole series, so just getting that out there. And to me, the series honestly just kept getting better and better. And the Lord said, let there be light. What a good transition that's gonna make. <laughs> Moving onwards. Twilight by Stephanie Mayer. I love this series and you can hate me all for it, but I love it and honestly I reread the series like at least once a year. So sue me. The next one is The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. I honestly avoided any Cassandra Clare books for like the longest times after I read The Mortal Instruments. But this book just kept getting recommended to me and I couldn't avoid it because everybody was just talking about it and I finally read it and Jesus Christ, I fell in love with it. I seriously, seriously love this book. And I'm not going to go ahead and say it's my top one, but Jesus Christ, it probably is within the top five and I know I said I wasn't going to do that, but I just really love this series. So my following favorite series... <laughs> So my following favorite series is Cinder by Marissa Meyer, or rather The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. So this one I gotta admit that I actually didn't like it the first time that I read the book, but then I decided to give it another chance because people were so into the series that I was like, it has to be good, why am I not into it? And the second time that I read the series, like, holy shit, like, I loved it, I fell in love with it, I am all about that, like, I love Marissa Meyer. Like, anything that she releases, I'm gonna read it. Now. Now the following two books is Me Before You by Children Moyes, and I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, and If I Stay by Gail Foreman. Now these two just made me cry. They knew what to say to make me feel attached to the character, so they are totally just favorites for me. The following book is Cinder and Ella by Kelly Orm. Now this one I believe is the first series by a non-popular author that I absolutely loved. Ever since I started reading it, I was just so hooked on it, and excuse the cats, they are just losing their goddamn shit. <laughs> now the following is Divergent by Veronica Roth. Now a lot of people would kind of have a, like a love-hate thing going on but for me the whole series was just kind of like so-so until I reached the Legion and then the whole thing changed and a lot of people hated the ending for Allegiant but for me I don't know it just it was everything like I felt like it happened and it was supposed to happen and if it hadn't happened maybe I wouldn't have like enjoyed the series like at all. And the following book is, I'm sorry they fell over, is The Help by Catherine Stockett. I love this book. This is actually probably my top one and I know for some people it's like oh my god you're like replacing Harry Potter and it's like I am. I've reread this series so many times. I'm sorry it's not a series, it's a standalone. But I have read this book so many times. I am so in love with it and honestly a lot of people are surprised that I love this series so much. And I keep calling it a series when it's not a series. What the hell is wrong with me? But anyways it is... Jesus Christ. It is so good. If you haven't read it, I really recommend it that you do because it is just amazing. In here is just absolutely everything. Oh my god. <laughs> so the following two is by two different Ricks. 
and I am talking about The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, and The Whole Prissy Jackson World Lost Heroes by Rick Riordan. I loved these two books. When I first started reading this one, I didn't think that I was going to like it, and I started reading it because I, of course, wanted to read it before I saw the movie, and as soon as I started reading it, I was like, holy crap. By that point, the third book wasn't out yet, but I actually, it was, I think it was the first book I ever actually set a pre-order for. And I know my friend was like, holy crap, like you're actually setting a pre-order for that? I was like, I know, but I just need it as soon as it comes out. And in this one, I do love Percy Jackson, but this one was, I felt like a little bit more relatable to me because the kids are a little bit more grown up. I'm a little bit more grown up. And as soon as I started reading it, I was like, hey, I think I'm actually going to like this one better. And yeah, the humor is just a lot more like relatable for like an older person. So another favorite is Still Alice by Lisa Genova. I'm not sure I'm saying that last name correctly, but it is just so freaking good. Now there is a movie for this, so if you don't want to read the book, I do recommend the movie at least because it does touch with a real topic. Another one is You by Caroline Kipnis. Now this book is absolutely brutal, but I loved it. And I believe I have talked about this book in the past about how much it surprised me that I loved it so much. And it is going to be a movie, so I am very excited and already disappointed by it. So there's that. Now the following one is 12 Angry Men by Reginald Rose. Now this one was lent to me and I don't know, I just started reading it because it was like, yeah, it's a classic and all that and I started reading it and as soon as I started reading it, it just really plays with like your feelings. Like you along with the characters, you just start changing your mind about things and it's just like, man, this guy was a genius. <laughs> now another favorite was 11, 22, 63, and this one I have talked about also in the past how Weird it was that I was like so into the book, but I don't know, there was something about the whole time travel thing that just really called to me, and in the end it totally turned into one of my favorite reads of the year, and it just had to totally make the list. Like, oh, when I soon as started making the list, I was like, yeah, this one has to go on there because it is totally a favorite. And it was my first Stephen King book, and I'm so glad that I went that way. Sorry for the camera movement, but my camera died, so, you know, moving forward. Now I am going to move on with honorable mentions. And my honorable mentions for this one, I'm going to start off with Walk on Earth the Stranger by Ray Carson. Now, this one was so good for me the first time that I read it and all the other times that I read it afterwards. But the reason that I didn't really make it into the top one was because the second book was kind of a disappointment. So if I stand the first book by itself, I like it. If I add the second one to it, I was like, okay, that was a little bit disappointing. Now, I am waiting anxiously for the third one and hopefully that will redeem the whole thing and it'll make it into the top 20 favorites. So we'll see about that. Now the other one is The Martian by Andy Weir. Now I'm not exactly sure why this one didn't make it into the top favorites one, but it is such a good book. Honestly, it is a lot funnier and a lot better than the movie. And I did get the book before the movie. We already know that. Another honorable mention is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Now I really enjoyed the first book when I read it, but I haven't read the second one, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna feel about it. And of course, the series isn't over yet, so you know, I can't really be like solid on that. Ooh. Anyways, so I didn't really think that it deserved a whole top favorite thing because the whole series isn't done yet, and I don't haven't even read the second book. Now, my last honorable mention is The Selection by Kira Cast. And the reason that this made it into honorable mentions was because I really enjoyed the first three books. But not so much on the additional books. I think it was two additional books and I didn't really like them and they are part of the selection so I decided that it wasn't going to be a top favorite because if it's top favorite you like all the books not just some of the books type of thing. So yeah it's just an honorable mention. Now my last favorite books moving on from honorable mentions is Meant to Be by Lauren Morrill. Now, this one I believe is the first contemporary that I read and I really, really loved it. It was so fluffy and everything, so this was back when I started reading addictively and I'm just glad that it came into my life. It is not that popular of a book, but I really believe that it should because it just touches all the strings in the best way possible. Now, my next favorite book is Red Queen by Victoria Aviard. Now, this one, the series isn't over yet, but I have liked the past three books that have been released so far. So I believe that I feel like it's kind of go well for me. So unless the last book is like completely horrible, 
then it should be pretty safe to say that it is a favorite. And another favorite is a no-brainer, The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. I feel like this is a favorite for so many people, and even if it's not a favorite, you kind of enjoyed it. I haven't really met a person that hated The Hunger Games, so that's a plus. And I am missing the first book, and I have talked about The Hunger Games before, and I have talked about the whole fact that I'm missing the books. But I was such a Hunger Games fan for such a long time, and I still am. I didn't stop being a fan, but I stopped being an obsessive fan. Like, literally, I had pins all over the place, and it was just, it was madness. It was a little insane. But, yeah, it's totally a top favorite, and it must be in my top 10. Now, another one, I feel like I've talked about this one a lot. And I am talking about Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. Now, this book is fantastic. It is so beautiful. It makes you love life and make you see the leaves in a different way and just absolutely appreciate everything. The chance that you can just really taste and everything. And it's not just for zombies. And a lot of people, you know, they, a lot of people can't see, a lot of people can't feel, a lot of people can't taste. And it, this book just, I don't know, the way he analyzes things for R is just so amazing and beautiful and I love it and I love him and I wish that I could meet him in person. One day, maybe I shall. Now, my last book is a favorite for so many people and I have talked about it previously in this whole video and I am talking about Harry Potter by JK Rowling. Now, this has been favorite for like ever since I came across it. Like, I love the series, I love the movies, I love the merchandise, I love the author, I love the fans. It's just love all over the place. And anyways, sorry for being all over the place, especially about the cats, but they are insane. And if I didn't just move on forward, the video would never be finished. So I am sorry for all that madness and this video is probably really long because of it. Sorry for that. But I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below any questions, any comments about what you have that I've said today, especially what's been going on behind cameras. And as I said before, I am currently rereading Harry Potter and I am in the third book at this point and I'm so happy and it's always, always so great to be getting all the smidge little details that the movie didn't put in, you know, because otherwise it would be like a 24 hour movie and the fans wouldn't even be mad about it. Honestly, they should have released a 24 hour version of each movie and I'd have watched it. A lot of people would have watched it. But that's impossible at this point. They should have just released all the behind the scenes thing, but you know, they didn't love us enough. Anyways, that is it for this video and I will see you guys next time.